Leonardo da Vinci, a brilliant mind ahead of his time. Leonardo da Vinci was an extraordinary person who lived many years ago. He was born on April 15, 1452 in a town called Vinci in Italy. He was not just a painter, he was also a scientist, inventor and thinker. Leonardo's ideas were so advanced that people often call him a renaissance man, which means someone who is good at many different things. A curious mind. Since he was a child, Leonardo was curious about everything around him. He loved to explore nature and learn how things worked. He would spend hours observing birds, plants and water, trying to understand their secrets. His curiosity led him to become a keen observer and this skill later helped him in his paintings and inventions. The Artist in Leonardo Leonardo is famous for his paintings and one of his most famous works is a painting called the Mona Lisa. This painting shows a woman with a mysterious smile and people from all around the world come to see it in the Louvre Museum in Paris. Leonardo also painted The Last Supper, which is a huge painting that tells the story of a special meal Jesus had with his disciples. The Scientist and Inventor Leonardo was not just an artist, he was also a scientist who wanted to understand how the world worked. He studied anatomy, which means he learned about the human body and how it was built. He even dissected, rather cut open human bodies to learn more. This helped him draw people and animals in a very realistic way. Notebooks and Curiosity Perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of Leonardo's early life was his habit of keeping detailed notebooks. These notebooks were a reflection of his insatiable curiosity and contained a treasure trove of sketches, observations and ideas. What sets these notebooks apart is Leonardo's use of mirror writing. Writing that is reversed and can only be read properly with the help of a mirror. While the reasons for this unconventional writing style remain a subject of speculation, it is clear that these notebooks were an extension of his brilliant mind capturing his thoughts on everything from inventions to artistic techniques. A mind ahead of his time Leonardo's early life was marked by his ability to think beyond the conventions of his era. He questioned established norms, embraced unconventional ideas and bridged the gap between art and science. This forward-thinking approach set him apart as a true renaissance figure, embodying the spirit of a time characterized by intellectual curiosity and innovation. Leonardo da Vinci, Artistic Genius and Renaissance Man As an artist, Leonardo da Vinci was truly remarkable. He painted some of the most famous and recognizable works of art in the world. One of his most famous paintings is the Mona Lisa. This painting is known for the mysterious smile on the woman's face and the intricate details Leonardo put into every aspect of the artwork. He carefully observed light and shadow to create a three-dimensional effect, making the painting look lifelike and captivating. Another famous painting by Leonardo is The Last Supper. In this artwork, he captured a moment from the Bible where Jesus was having a final meal with his disciples. Leonardo's attention to detail is evident in the expressions and body language of each figure. Conveying a range of emotions and personalities, he used perspective to create depth, making the scene appear realistic and dynamic. The Mona Lisa, the enigmatic masterpiece In the grand halls of art history, there exists a painting that has captured hearts and minds for centuries, the Mona Lisa, painted by the genius Leonardo da Vinci during the Italian Renaissance. This artwork has become an enigmatic masterpiece, admired by people from all walks of life. Let us journey into the world of Mona Lisa to unravel its mysteries and discover the reasons behind its enduring allure. The Mona Lisa, also known as La Gioconda in Italian, was created around the early 16th century. It depicts a woman with an enigmatic smile, grazing directly at the viewer. This painting stands as a testament to Leonardo da Vinci's unparalleled skill in capturing the human form and expression. The lifelike quality of the subject's face, her serene countenance and the subtlety of her smile have all contributed to the painting's aura of mystery. One of the most captivating aspects of the Mona Lisa is her gaze. The woman in the painting seems to lock eyes with anyone who gazes upon her, creating a sense of intimacy and connection that defies time and space. This engagement draws viewers into her world, inviting them to ponder the thoughts and emotions concealed within her inscrutable expression. Leonardo's mastery of fumato, 
A technique involving delicate shading and blending further enhances the realism and depth of the portrait. The background of the painting adds to its intrigue. The landscape behind the subject seems to fade into a distant, hazy vista. This technique, called aerial perspective, gives the painting a dreamlike quality and imbues it with a sense of vastness. The history of the Mona Lisa is as captivating as the painting itself. Over the years, it has been celebrated, stolen, and admired by countless individuals. The theft of the painting from the Louvre Museum in 1911 catapulted it into international headlines, turning the Mona Lisa into a symbol of intrigue and fascination. Its eventual recovery only added to its mystique, making it a cultural icon worldwide. Theories abound regarding the identity of the women in the painting. Some believe she is Lisa Garodini, the wife of Florentine merchant Francisco del Giconda, while others suggest she might be a self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci himself. The ambiguity surrounding her identity only deepens the sense of mystery, allowing each viewer to form their own connection with the subject. The Mona Lisa's influence on art and popular culture cannot be overstated. Countless artists have drawn inspiration from its composition, subject matter, and technique. The painting has been referenced in literature, films, and advertisements, becoming a symbol of timeless beauty and enigmatic allure. The famous smile has sparked debates, discussions, and even psychological studies on its meaning and significance. Technological advancements have allowed us to explore the Mona Lisa in unprecedented ways. High-resolution imaging has revealed previously unnoticed details, such as the fine brushstrokes that make up the subject's skin and the delicate veil covering her hair. The discoveries only serve to deepen our appreciation for Leonardo's meticulous craftsmanship. The Mona Lisa stands as a testament to Leonardo da Vinci's artistic genius and the enduring power of visual art to captivate and mystify. Its enigmatic smile, lifelike gaze, and skillful technique have made it an icon of the art world and beyond. The painting's ability to transcend time, culture, and language speaks to the universal human fascination with beauty and the unknown. As we continue to gaze upon her, the Mona Lisa invites us to partake in an eternal dance of curiosity and wonder. Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper – Iconic Religious Art Leonardo da Vinci's painting The Last Supper is a famous and important work of art. It shows a special moment from a story in the Christian religion. The painting is known for its beauty, history, and the way it tells a story without words. What is The Last Supper? The Last Supper is a painting that shows a scene from the Bible, which is a holy book for Christians. In the scene, Jesus Christ sits at the table with his twelve followers, known as disciples. They are having a meal together, which is the last meal Jesus shares with them before an important event in the Christian story. Why is it important? The painting is important for many reasons. First, it was created by Leonardo da Vinci, who was a famous artist and inventor from Italy. He is known for his incredible skill in painting and The Last Supper is one of the most famous works. It was made around the year 1495 to 1498. Second, the painting tells a story from the Bible. In the story, Jesus knows that he will soon be arrested and will die. During this meal, he tells his disciples that one of them will betray him. This is a sad and serious moment in the Christian story, and Leonardo captures the emotions of the disciples in the painting. Details in the painting When you look at the painting, you can see how much attention Leonardo paid to the details. He used light and shadow to give depth to the figures. The expressions on the disciples' faces show their surprise, confusion, and sadness about what Jesus had just said. Jesus sits in the middle of the table and his figure forms a triangle shape with a space above him. This makes him the focus of the painting. His face is calm and he is holding out his hand, which will later become a part of an important Christian ritual called the Eucharist or the Holy Communion. Each disciple has a unique expression and pose that shows his personality. Some are talking to each other, some look surprised, and others seem lost in the thoughts. Leonardo used these details to bring the story to life and make the painting feel real. Impact on Art and Culture The Last Supper has had a big impact on art and culture. Many artists have been inspired by Leonardo's work and have tried to imitate his style. 
The painting has been studied for centuries and it has influenced how people think about art and religion. Visiting the Last Supper The Last Supper is located in Milan, Italy. It is in the place called the Convent of Santa Maria delle Grazie. Because the painting is delicate and sensitive to light and air, visitors can only stay for a short time to see it. This helps to preserve the painting for future generations. Botany and Nature Leonardo's fascination with nature extended to plants and flowers. He made detailed drawings of various plant species and studied their growth patterns. His observations of plant anatomy and the arrangements of leaves helped him understand how different plants functioned and adapted to their environments. Engineering and Inventions Leonardo's scientific curiosity was not limited to living things. He was also interested in machines and inventions. He sketched ideas for flying machines, water pumps, bridges, and even a type of armored vehicle. While many of his inventions were not built during his lifetime, his designs laid the groundwork for future engineers and inventors. Observations of Water Leonardo was particularly intrigued by the movement of water. He studied rivers, streams, and even ocean currents. His observations of water behavior were not only artistic but also scientific. He understood concepts like turbulence, erosion, and the way water shaped the landscape. Study of Light and Shadows One of Leonardo's remarkable observations was his study of light and shadows, known as chiaroscuro. He noticed how light interacts with objects to create areas of brightness and darkness. This understanding allowed him to make his paintings more realistic by accurately depicting how light falls on different surfaces. Astronomy and Optics Leonardo's scientific inquiries even extended to the skies. He studied the moon, the stars, and their patterns of movement. He also delved into the properties of optics, exploring how light behaves and how it interacts with the human eye. His insights into optics influenced later developments in lenses and vision science. Scientific Notebooks One of the most remarkable aspects of Leonardo's scientific inquiry is his extensive collection of notebooks. These notebooks are filled with his observations, sketches, and ideas on a wide range of topics. He wrote in a unique mirror writing style, possibly to keep his notes private. These notebooks provide a window into his curious mind and continue to be a valuable resource for researchers. Leonardo da Vinci's Anatomical Studies and Medical Contributions Leonardo da Vinci, renowned as a brilliant artist, also left a significant mark on the field of anatomy and medicine. His curiosity and keen observation skills led him to delve into the mysteries of the human body, resulting in detailed anatomical studies that contributed to our understanding of human physiology. Detailed Observations During these dissections, Leonardo made meticulous observations and sketches of the human body's internal structures. He documented the arrangements of muscles, bones, organs, and even the vascular system. His sketches demonstrated a level of precision and accuracy that was unparalleled in his era. The Virtuvion Man One of Leonardo's most famous sketches, The Virtuvion Man, showcases his fascination with the proportions of the human body. This drawing depicts a man in the two superimposed position with his arms and legs apart, inscribed in both a circle and a square. This study highlights the harmony between human proportions and geometric shapes. Understanding Circulation Leonardo's studies also extended to the cardiovascular system. He recognized the importance of the heart as a pump that circulates blood throughout the body. Although his knowledge of the circulatory system was not fully accurate, his insight paved the way for future discoveries in the field of medicine. Contributions to Medical Science Leonardo's anatomical studies were not merely artistic pursuits. They had a profound impact on medical science and education. Despite not being widely known during his lifetime, his detailed drawings provided invaluable insights for medical professionals who followed. Understanding Muscles and Movement Leonardo's exploration of anatomy led him to study muscles and how they functioned in relation to movement. His observations and sketches depicted muscles in various states of contraction and relaxation, offering a deeper understanding of how muscles contribute to bodily movement. Modern Medical Discoveries 
Leonardo's anatomical studies foreshadowed many discoveries that would come centuries later. His accurate depictions of the heart's chamber and walls hinted at the heart's role as a pump, a concept that was later confirmed by the modern physiology. Similarly, his observations of the brain's convolutions laid the groundwork for future neuroscience research. Challenges and Controversies Leonardo faced challenges in his anatomical studies, including limited access to human cadavers, as dissections were not commonly performed during his time. His unconventional methods sometimes led to inaccuracies, but his commitment to observation and documentation laid the foundation for future advancements. A Renaissance Polymath Leonardo da Vinci's contributions to anatomy and medicine highlight his multidisciplinary approach to learning. He seamlessly blended art and science. Recognizing that a comprehensive understanding of the human body required both artistic representation and scientific exploration. Leonardo da Vinci's anatomical studies and medical contributions remain an integral part of his legacy. His dedication to observing, sketching, and understanding the human body's intricacies laid the groundwork for advancements in medical science. While his anatomical drawings were not widely disseminated during his lifetime, their impact on modern medicine is undeniable. Leonardo's exploration of the human body continues to inspire curiosity, innovation, and the belief that art and science are interconnected avenues to understanding the world around us. Leonardo da Vinci's Inventions and Technological Innovations Leonardo da Vinci, known for his artistic genius, was also a visionary inventor and innovator. His imaginative mind and practical skills led him to conceptualize and design a variety of inventions that were far ahead of his time. The Ingenious Mind of Leonardo Leonardo da Vinci's creativity knew no bounds. He believed that art and science were intertwined, and his inventions reflected his ability to blend imagination with practicality. His ideas ranged from engineering marvels to devices that aimed to simplify everyday tasks. Flying Machines and Aviation Leonardo's fascination with flight led him to design several flying machines. He sketched concepts for gliders, helicopters, and even a machine resembling a modern-day parachute. Although he didn't build these machines, his ideas laid the foundation for the future development of aviation technology. War Machines and Defense Innovations Leonardo's inventive mind also extended to the battlefield. He designed weapons and machines for warfare, including armed vehicles and catapults. His designs were not only innovative, but also strategic, focusing on enhancing military effectiveness. Hydraulic Engineering Leonardo's understanding of water's properties led him to design various hydraulic devices. He sketched plans for water-powered mills, pumps, and machines for diverting rivers. His hydraulic innovations showcased his practical approach to harnessing the power of water. Anatomical and medical devices Leonardo's interest in anatomy influenced his inventions as well. He designed anatomical models that aimed to help medical students understand the human body's internal structures. His anatomical studies and sketches also contributed to the development of medical knowledge. Architectural Concepts Leonardo's architectural designs were groundbreaking. He envisioned innovative buildings with unique features like revolving staircases and structures that harmonized with their natural surroundings. Although many of his architectural plans were never realized, they demonstrated his forward-thinking approach to design, automations, and mechanical devices. Leonardo's fascination with mechanics led him to design various automatons mechanical devices capable of performing tasks. He designed machines that imitated human movement and even created a mechanical lion for a royal event. These inventions showcased his mastery of mechanical engineering principles. The Interplay of Art and Invention Leonardo's approach to invention was influenced by his artistic sensibilities. He believed that creativity and imagination were essential to both fields, his inventions were not only practical, but also aesthetically pleasing, reflecting his commitment to merging art and technology. Leonardo da Vinci's Notebooks and Codices, A Window into His Mind Leonardo da Vinci, a brilliant artist, inventor, and thinker of Renaissance era, left behind a treasure trove of notebooks and codices that provide a remarkable glimpse into his multifaceted mind. These pages are filled with sketches, observations, ideas, and insights that reveal the depth of his curiosity and the extent of his intellectual pursuits. The Power of a Pen and Paper
In an age before computers and digital tools, Leonardo relied on pen and paper to document his thoughts. He meticulously filled his notebooks with drawings, writings, diagrams, and calculations. These pages were like his personal laboratory, where he experimented with ideas across a wide range of disciplines, scientific inquiry, and observations. Leonardo's notebook contained meticulous observations of nature. He sketched animals, plants, and geological formations, all with a scientist's precision. His detailed drawings of birds in flight and water currents reveal his dedication to understanding that natural world. Anatomical Studies Leonardo's fascination with the human body is evident in his anatomical sketches. He dissected corpses to gain insight into the body's inner workings, and his notebooks display intricate drawings of muscles, bones, and organs. These studies were not only artistic, but also laid the groundwork for advancements in the medical science. Inventions and Innovations Leonardo's notebooks also serve as blueprint for his inventions. He designed machines, devices, and engineering marvels that were ahead of their time. From flying machines to hydraulic systems, his ideas paved the way for modern technologies. Mirror Writing An intriguing and distinctive feature of Leonardo da Vinci's notebook is his clever use of mirror writing, a captivating technique where the words are penned in a reverse manner. This remarkable method has tickled the curiosity of many, sparking debates about its purpose. Some experts believe that Leonardo employed this captivating style to guard his thoughts from prying eyes, as the words magically become readable when reflected in a mirror. Imagine the intrigue behind Leonardo's ingenious choice. As he jotted down his revolutionary ideas and intricate sketches, he wove an invisible cloak of secrecy around them. The mirror writing serves as a puzzle, a riddle only that privy to its secret can decipher. It's like having coded language, a hidden treasure map waiting to be unveiled. Picture Leonardo hunched over his notes, his quill dancing across the paper in reverse, a mischievous grin on his face. The mirror writing whispers tales of a man who was not only a master of art and science, but also a clever guardian of his own intellect. With each stroke of the pen, he wove a veil of mystery around his words, a veil that can only be lifted with the aid of a simple mirror. In this seemingly whimsical choice, Leonardo reveals yet another layer of his multifaceted brilliance. Just as he melted science and art, he blended secrecy and innovation, crafting a code that stands as a testament to his ingenuity. The mirror writing is like a secret handshake shared across time, a nod from Leonardo to those who dare to venture beyond the ordinary and explore the extraordinary. In the dance of ink on paper, Leonardo wove a thread of enchantment, a trial of intrigue, that beacons us to look deeper. His mirror writing invites us to step into his shoes to glimpse the world through his enigmatic eyes. It's a reminder that often genius wears the cloak of mystery and that even the most celebrated minds can have a touch of mischievous playfulness. So next time you peer into a mirror and find Leonardo's words staring back at you, remember that you are decoding a language of a true master, a master not just of art and science, but of secrecy and surprise. Codices as Treasures Leonardo's notebooks are often referred to as codices, a term used to describe bound collections of pages. These codices are divided into various themes reflecting the breadth of his interests. The Codex Lester, for example, focuses on water and its properties, while the Codex Arundel covers topics ranging from geometry to architecture. Legacy and Rediscovery while Leonardo's notebooks remain relatively unknown during his lifetime, they gained recognition and admiration in later centuries. His writings and sketches were preserved by those who recognized their value, allowing us to peer into a mind of a genius. Modern Inspiration Leonardo's notebooks continue to inspire modern thinkers, inventors, and artists. His approach to interdisciplinary exploration and his ability to connect seemingly unrelated ideas offer valuable lessons for those seeking innovation and creativity. Digital Age Relevance In today's digital age, Leonardo's notebook have taken a new significance. They serve as a reminder of the power of physical documentation and the value of recording ideas on paper. In a world where information is often ephemeral, his notebook stands as a testament to the enduring impact of handwritten thoughts. Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks and codices are not mere collections of drawings and scribbles. They are portals into the mind of a genius. 
Through these pages, we witness his unquenchable curiosity, his dedication to observation, and his relentless pursuit of knowledge. Leonardo's notebooks reminds us of the value of preserving our ideas, no matter how diverse or unconventional they may be. As we turn these pages, we are granted a rare glimpse into the mind that reshaped the world through art, science, and innovation. Flying Machines and Exploration of Flight The dream of flying like bird has captivated human imagination for centuries. Leonardo da Vinci, the brilliant artist and inventor of the Renaissance, was one of those who dared to envision flying machines that would carry humans through the skies. Dreams of Soaring Leonardo da Vinci's inquisitive mind led him to ponder these mechanics of flight. He observed birds soaring through the air effortlessly and wondered if humans could replicate the feat. Inspired by nature, he began to sketch and design his own flying machines. Early Concepts Leonardo's designs were varied and inventive, ranging from the Onithopters, machines designed to mimic bird wings, to aerial screw-like contraptions. His sketches depicted a fusion of human ingenuity and the elegance of nature's aviators. Although many of these machines were never constructed, they showcased his innovative thinking. The Ornithopers One of Leonardo's most famous flying machine designs was the Ornithopers. This contraption was intended to achieve flight by flapping its wings, mimicking the motion of birds. Although the Ornithopers was never successful, built during Leonardo's time, his idea laid the foundation for later attempts to create mechanical flying machines. Aerial Screw Another notable design was the aerial screw, often referred to as an early concept of the helicopter. Leonardo's sketches depicted a device that resembled a giant screw. He believed that by turning the screw, the machine would generate lift and propel itself into the air. While his design might not have been feasible with the technology of his time, it demonstrates his creative approach to flight. Understanding Aerodynamics Leonardo's exploration of flight wasn't solely focused on building machines. He also delved into the principles of aerodynamics, the study of how air interacts with solid objects. His sketches demonstrated an understanding of lift, drag, and airflow, concept that would become crucial for the development of aviation. Modern Insights from Leonardo While many of the Leonardo's flying machine designs remained on paper, his insights into flight have influenced aviation advancements. His emphasis on understanding aerodynamics and the importance of wings and propulsion systems set the stage for the development of actual flying machines. Legacy in Aviation Leonardo's vision and curiosity about flight were a harbinger of the monumental achievements that would come centuries later. The invention of the airplane in the early 20th century built upon the foundation he had laid with his designs and understanding of flight mechanics. Inspirational Lessons Leonardo's exploration of flight teaches us valuable lessons about human innovation. His willingness to imagine the seemingly impossible and sketch inventive designs encourage us to think beyond the boundaries of current knowledge. Leonardo's legacy reminds us that exploration and experimentation can lead to groundbreaking discoveries. Modern Aviation Technology The exploration of flight continues to this day with advanced aviation technology. From airplanes to helicopters and even drones, humans have managed to conquer the skies in ways that were unimaginable during Leonardo's time. These achievements are a testament to the progress we have made in understanding flight. Leonardo da Vinci's designs of flying machines and his exploration of flight were a testament to his insatiable curiosity and inventive mind. While his mechanical contraptions might not have taken flight in his era, his contributions laid the groundwork for the development of the aviation. Leonardo's legacy continues to inspire dreamers and innovators who dare to imagine a world where humans can take to the skies like the birds that once fascinated him. Leonardo da Vinci's Engineering, Marvels, and Architectural Designs Leonardo da Vinci, renowned for his artistic brilliance, was also a visionary engineer and architect of his time. His imagination transcended canvas and paper as he conceptualized awe-inspiring machines and architectural wonders that were far ahead of his era. The Creative Engineer Leonardo da Vinci's mind was a playground of creativity, encompassing a wide array of disciplines. His engineering prowess was evident in his ability to devise complex mechanisms and structures, showcasing his knack for marrying practicality with ingenuity. Bridges and Beyond Leonardo's architectural designs included several bridges that demonstrated his deep understanding of physics and material strength. 
his vision of a bridge spanning the Golden Horn in the Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, displayed a single span that defied the limitations of his time. Although these bridges were never built, they underscored his ability to challenge conventional engineering norms. Revolutionary Hydraulic Systems Leonardo's expertise extended to hydraulic engineering, the manipulation of water's flow and force. He envisioned innovative systems for managing water resources, such as locks, dams, and channels. These ideas showcased his ecological awareness and the practical application of hydraulic principles. Innovations in Construction Leonardo's architectural designs weren't limited to aesthetics. They also introduced groundbreaking construction techniques. His concepts for domes and walls demonstrated a deep understanding of the structural stability. His design for a self-supporting stone bridge with a graceful curve was a testament to his mastery of both engineering and aesthetics. The Ideal City Leonardo's architectural dreams were grand in scope. His ideal city design was a utopian concept that incorporated careful city planning, innovative infrastructure, and harmonious living spaces. While his ideal city was never realized, it foreshadowed the principles of urban planning that would become crucial in modern cities. Practical War Machines Leonardo's engineering prowess wasn't confined to peaceful pursuits. He designed practical war machines, including armed vehicles and defensive fortifications. His understanding of mechanics and physics allowed him to create machines that could potentially alter the course of battle. The Architectural Renaissance Leonardo's architectural designs were deeply rooted in the Renaissance spirit of innovation. The Renaissance marked a period of cultural rebirth, and Leonardo's work epitomized this era of creativity and intellectual exploration. Legacy in Modern Engineering While many of Leonardo's engineering designs were never realized during his time, his ideas laid the groundwork for future innovations. His exploration of forces, materials, and structural integrity paved the way for modern engineering principles that have transformed construction and architecture. Architectural ingenuity ahead of its time Leonardo's architectural designs were often ahead of their time. His sketches of rotating domes and buildings that harnessed natural elements showcased his forward-thinking approach. His architectural visions weren't just aesthetically pleasing, they were technologically sophisticated. Inspiration for Future Architects and Engineers Leonardo da Vinci's legacy continues to inspire architects and engineers who seek to push the boundaries of design and construction. His ability to blend artistic creativity with scientific precision serves as a reminder that innovation emerges at the intersection of disciplines. Leonardo da Vinci's engineering marvels and architectural designs reveal a mind that transcended the limitations of his time. His concepts for bridges, hydraulic systems, and even an ideal city showcase his ability to envision a future that is both innovative and sustainable. Leonardo's legacy lives on in modern structures we admire and the engineering principles we rely on today, reminding us that creativity, innovation, and the pursuit of excellence are timeless pursuits that shape the world we inhabit. Leonardo da Vinci's Botanical Studies and Naturalistic Drawings Leonardo da Vinci, the brilliant artist and thinker of the Renaissance, possessed an insatiable curiosity for the natural world. His botanical studies and naturalistic drawings revealed his keen observation skills and artistic finesse, offering a window into the intricate beauty of the plant kingdom. A curious observer, Leonardo's artistic talents were matched by his inquisitive nature. He turned his discerning eye towards the world of plants, seeking to understand their forms, structures, and characteristics. His botanical studies were not mere illustrations. They were a testament to his quest for knowledge and his desire to unveil the secrets of nature. Capturing Nature's Details Leonardo's botanical drawing go beyond the superficial representation. His meticulous attention to detail allowed him to capture the intricate features of plants from the delicate veins of leaves to the intricate patterns of petals. He didn't merely depict the outward appearance. He delved into the nuances that made each plant unique. Scientific Accuracy and Artistic Beauty Leonardo's botanical studies were a blend of scientific accuracy and artistic beauty. He meticulously recorded the botanical characteristics of plants, including their shapes, sizes, and arrangements. Yet his drawings also retained a certain artistic elegance that transformed his scientific observations into works of art. Anatomical Insight Leonardo's fascination with nature extended to the study of plant anatomy. He dissected plants to gain a deeper understanding of their inner structures. 
His drawings of cross-sections and detailed anatomical features revealed his determination to uncover the mysteries hidden within the natural world. Variety in Flora Leonardo's botanical studies covered a wide range of plants, from common herbs to exotic specimens. His observations of flowers, fruits, and seeds provided insights into plant reproduction and life cycles. Through his drawings, he conveyed the diversity and complexity of the plant kingdom. Interplay of Science and Aesthetics Leonardo's approach to botanical studies emphasized the interconnectedness of science and aesthetics. He recognized that understanding the scientific intricacies of plants enriched his artistic depiction. Conversely, his artistic sensibilities spread life into his scientific observations. Legacy of Inspiration Leonardo's botanical drawings have left an indelible mark on both the scientific and artistic communities. His commitment to capturing the essence of plants inspired generations of naturalists, botanists, and artists. His work demonstrated the observation and creativity could coexist, leading to a deeper appreciation of the natural world. Modern Relevance In today's world, where environmental awareness is paramount, Leonardo's botanical studies hold renewed significance. His emphasis on close observation and understanding of plants aligns with modern efforts to preserve biodiversity and understand the intricate ecosystems that sustain life on Earth. Artistic Documentation and Conservation Leonardo's botanical studies also be viewed as a form of artistic documentation that captures the beauty of plants for posterity. As habitants change and species face threats, his drawing serves as a record of plants that might have otherwise been lost to time. Appreciating Nature's Beauty Leonardo's botanical studies invite us to slow down and observe and also appreciate the intricate beauty that surrounds us. In a world filled with distractions, his work encourages us to take a closer look at the plants that often go unnoticed, reminding us of the wonders that nature has to offer. Leonardo da Vinci's botanical studies and naturalistic drawings revealed a profound connection between science and art. His dedication to capture the essence of plants with scientific accuracy and artistic finesse continues to inspire admiration for the natural world. Leonardo's legacy teaches us that observation, curiosity, and the desire to bridge disciplines can lead to the discoveries that enrich our understanding of both nature and the human experience. Leonardo da Vinci's collaborations and connections with other artists Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance genius renowned for his artistic and intellectual prowess, was not confined to solitary creation. His life was punctuated by collaborations and connections with fellow artists, thinkers, and patrons that enriched his work and left a lasting impact on the artistic world. The Renaissance Network The Renaissance was a period of cultural revival, marked by a spirit of exploration, innovation, and intellectual exchange. Leonardo da Vinci was at heart of this movement, and his collaboration with other artists were a testament to his willingness to share ideas and techniques. The Apprenticeship Years Leonardo's artistic journey began in the studio of Andrea del Verrocchio, a prominent Florentine artist. As an apprentice, Leonardo learned not only artistic techniques, but also the value of collaboration. His early exposure to Verrocchio's workshop set the stage for his future interactions with fellow artists. The Milanese Connection During his time in Milan, Leonardo's connections with his fellow artists flourished. He collaborated with renowned painters like Giovanni Ambrogio di Paredes and his brother Evangelista, contributing to his, their collective projects. This collective environment allowed Leonardo to explore new techniques and learn from his peers. Inspiring Others Leonardo's innovative ideas and unconventional approach to art inspired those around him. His connections with artists like Bernardino, Luini, and Giovanni Antonio Beltraffio led to the dissemination of his artistic methods, influencing a new generation of painters who incorporated his techniques into their own works. The Power of Patronage Leonardo's interactions were not limited to fellow artists. Patrons also played a crucial role in his collaborations. Patrons provided financial support for his projects and often facilitated connections with other artists. The Medici family, for instance, was instrumental in fostering the connections within the artistic community. Scientific Collaborations Leonardo's collaborations extended beyond art to encompass the scientific exploration. He connected with scholars, anatomists, and engineers, sharing insights and observations. His interdisciplinary interactions enriched his knowledge and contributed to his multifaceted approach to creativity. The Da Vinci Circle 
Leonardo's impact extended beyond his lifetime. His influence fostered what is known as the Da Vinci Circle, a network of artists, scientists and intellectuals who shared his ideals of creativity and explorations. This circle continued to propagate his ideas and methods even after his passing. Breaking Boundaries Leonardo's connections transcended geographical and social boundaries. His interactions with artists from different regions and backgrounds contributed to a cross-pollination of artistic ideas and techniques, enriching the artistic landscape. Leonardo da Vinci's collaborations and connections with other artists eliminate his openness to share learning and expanding his horizons. His interactions with fellow artists, patrons and scholars demonstrate that artistic brilliance thrives in an environment of exchange and mutual inspiration. Leonardo's legacy serves as a reminder that collaboration is not only a means to create exceptional art, but also a testament to the enduring impact of shared ideas and creative endeavors. Leonardo da Vinci's Legacy and Influence on Art and Science Leonardo da Vinci, a polymath of the Renaissance era, left an indelible mark on both the realms of art and science. His innovative ideas, insatiable curiosity, and groundbreaking contributions have shaped the course of human creativity and understanding. A Visionary Thinker Leonardo da Vinci's legacy is that of a visionary thinker who transcended the limitations of his time. His ideas extended beyond conventional boundaries, challenging established norms and sparking the flames of innovation. Marrying Art and Science Leonardo's most significant contribution lies in his ability to bridge the gap between art and science. He seamlessly integrated artistic creativity with scientific inquiry, demonstrating that the two disciplines need not to be separate realms. This interdisciplinary approach laid the foundation for modern practices that value the intersection of creativity and rational thinking. The Mona Lisa Leonardo's artistic legacy is exemplified by the enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa. This iconic painting is celebrated for its use of sfumato, a technique that blends colors and tones to create a soft, seamless transition. The Mona Lisa's timeless allure continues to captivate viewers, reminding us of the enduring power of art. The Vitruvian Man Leonardo's Vitruvian Man is not merely an artistic sketch, it's a scientific exploration of human proportions. This drawing symbolizes his commitment to understanding the natural world through both artistic and scientific lenses. It's a testament to his belief that art and science are interconnected facets of human inquiry. Astronomical Insights Leonardo's legacy extended to the realm of science. He made astronomical observations that contributed to our understanding of celestial phenomena. His fascination with the cosmos echoed the Renaissance spirit of exploring the unknown and challenging conventional wisdom. Anatomical Precision Leonardo's meticulous anatomical studies were groundbreaking contributions to medical science. His detailed drawing of human body provided insights into anatomy that were ahead of his time. His work paved the way of the advancements in the medical education and research. Engineering Marvels Leonardo's engineering marvels were a testament to his inventive genius. While many of his designs were never realized during his lifetime, they foreshadowed technologies that would shape the future. His concept for flying machines, bridges, and hydraulic systems showcased his ability to blend imaginative creativity with practical application. A mentor of minds Leonardo's influence extended to those he mentored and collaborated with. His openness to sharing knowledge and his encouragement of others to explore their creative potential left an indelible mark on his contemporaries and future generations. Perpetual Curiosity Leonardo's insatiable curiosity served as a reminder that learning is a lifelong pursuit. His notebooks filled with sketches, observations and ideas are a testament to the importance of documenting one's thoughts and experiences. Leonardo da Vinci's Unfinished Works and Lost Creations Leonardo da Vinci, the visionary artist, scientist and inventor of the Renaissance, is celebrated for his masterpieces that have left an indelible mark on human history. However, amidst his brilliance, there exist unfinished works and lost creations that provide insights into both his creative process and the fleeting nature of artistic endeavors. The Artist's Mind Leonardo da Vinci's mind was a canvas of boundless imagination. He undertook numerous artistic projects, often exploring ideas that went beyond the constraints of his era. However, not all his endeavors reached completion, offering a glimpse into the creative struggles and evolving ideas of a genius. The Adoration of the Magi One of the Leonardo's unfinished work is the Adoration of the Magi, commissioned by the monks of San Donato Escopeto. This painting was intended to depict the biblical scene of the three wise men visiting the infant Jesus, 
Although Leonardo began the composition, the work was left incomplete due to his ceaseless quest for perfection and his departure from Florence. The Battle of Anghiari Another notable unfinished project is the Battle of Anghiari, a monumental mural commissioned for the Hall of the 500 in Florence's uh, Palazzo Vecchio. Leonardo's intention was to depict a chaotic battle scene with intricate details that showcase the human drama of conflict. Unfortunately, due to experimental techniques and the challenges of working on a large scale, the mural was left incomplete. Creative Exploration and Challenges Leonardo's unfinished works illustrate his relentless pursuit of artistic exploration and his propensity to challenge artistic norms. He was known to experiment with techniques and materials, often pushing the boundaries of his own capabilities. Lost to Time In addition to his unfinished works, there are creations by Leonardo that have been lost to time. These lost works, whether due to the fragility of materials, accidents, or other circumstances, reminds us of the impermanence of art and the importance of preserving cultural heritage. The Equestrian Monument One of Leonardo's most renowned lost creations is the colossal Equestrian Monument dedicated to the Francesco Forza, a Duke of Milan. Leonardo dedicated years to planning and designing the monument, aiming to capture the essence of both the horse and its rider. Unfortunately, the project was halted due to the French invasion of Milan and the clay model was destroyed in subsequent conflicts. The Letter and the Swan Another lost masterpiece attributed to Leonardo is the Letter and the Swan. This painting portraying the mythological tale of the seduction of Letter by Zeus in the form of a swan is only known through descriptions and copies. Its disappearance leaves us with a sense of longing for a work that could have enriched our understanding of Leonardo's artistic range. Inspiration for Contemporary Artists Leonardo's unfinished works and lost creations serve as an inspiration for contemporary artists. They highlight the importance of embracing experimentation, pushing boundaries, and acknowledging that artistic endeavors are not always about achieving a polished final product. Lessons in Imperfection Leonardo's incomplete and lost works also teach us about the beauty of imperfection. They remind us that even the most brilliant minds face obstacles and that perfection is not always attainable. The fragments of his unfinished works leave room for our imagination to complete the narrative. Leonardo da Vinci's unfinished works and lost creations are like windows into his creative journey. They reveal his dedication to pushing artistic boundaries and his willingness to explore uncharted territories. These remnants of his creative process invites us to reflect on the transcendence of art and the enduring impact of a visionary who dared to venture where others had not. Leonardo's legacy is a testament to the fact that even the unfinished can leave an indelible mark on the world. Controversies and Debates Surrounding Leonardo da Vinci Leonardo da Vinci, the brilliant mind behind the masterpieces and pioneering innovations, is not without his share of controversies and debates. As one of the most iconic figures in history, his life and work have sparked discussions that continue to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike. Mona Lisa's enigmatic smile One of the most enduring controversies linked to Leonardo is the enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa. Art historians and critics have debated for centuries about the meaning behind her smile. Some suggest it's a symbol of mystery, while others believe it reflects a concealed emotion. This debate showcases the power of art to evoke multiple interpretations and emotions. The Salvatore Mundi Attribution The attribution of the artwork Salvatore Mundi to Leonardo da Vinci has been a subject of intense debate. Some experts argue that it is an authentic work of Leonardo, while others question its authorship due to the restoration and changes over time. The controversy highlights the challenges in confirming authorship and the evolving nature of the art authentication. Version of the Rocks Original or Copy Leonardo's version of the rocks exists in two versions, raising debates about which is the original, the Lavour version is widely accepted as authentic, while the National Gallery version has sparked discussions about its creation and purpose. The controversy showcases the complexity of artistic production and the role of copies in art history. Scientific Accuracy of Drawings Leonardo's anatomical drawings are celebrated for their accuracy, but some debates surround the reliability of his observations. Critics question whether he dissected human bodies sufficiently to accurately depict the internal structures. This controversy emphasized the balance between artistic expression and scientific precision. Unbuilt engineering designs Leonardo's visionary engineering designs such as flying machines and mechanical devices often led to debates about their feasibility. Some argued that his designs were ahead of his time, while others questioned their practicality. 
These debates underscore the intersection of imagination and practicality in innovation. Alleged cryptic messages Some theories suggest that Leonardo incorporated cryptic messages and codes into his artworks. The Last Supper has been a subject of much speculation. With claims of hidden meanings and symbols, these debates showcase the allure of mystery and the human tendency to seek hidden narratives. Influence of nature on inventions Some scholars argue that Leonardo's inventions were inspired by natural phenomena, while others suggest that his ideas were born out of abstract creativity. The debate centers around whether his observations of nature directly influenced his innovative designs or if his inventions were products of his unique imagination. The controversies and debates surrounding Leonardo da Vinci illustrate the multifaceted nature of his legacy. They showcase the enduring power of his art to provoke thought, inspiration, interpretation, and ignite scholarly discourse. These discussions remind us that Leonardo's genius transcends time, inviting us to engage with his work, question assumptions, and explore the complex intersections of art, science, and human curiosity. The Death of Leonardo da Vinci, A Farewell to a Genius Leonardo da Vinci's final days were spent near the French court, where he had been residing under the patronage of King Francis I. It was here that he continued to engage in artistic and scientific pursuits. Despite his advancing age and declining health, the genius that had produced masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper remained undiminished even as his body weakened. At the age of 67, Leonardo's health began to deteriorate further. He suffered from a series of ailments that affected him during his final months. It's believed that a stroke, which left him partially paralyzed, played a significant role in his declining condition. The man who had spent his life meticulously studying the human body was now confronting the fragility of his own. On May 2, 1519, Leonardo da Vinci took his last breath. His death marked the end of an era, not only for art and science, but for humanity's capacity for innovation and inquiry. The world had lost a luminary who had pushed the boundaries of human knowledge, bridging the gap between art and science in ways that were unprecedented. Leonardo's death also marked the conclusion of an era of artistic and intellectual flourishing. The Renaissance was a period of immense growth and exploration, and Leonardo has been at its forefront. His passing signaled a shift in the cultural landscape as new generations of artists and thinkers emerged to carry forward the torch of innovation.